Hello and welcome to this tutorial on CSS. CSS describes the appearance of items on a website. So in order to follow along here you need to know how to use HTML because HTML is the language of the web. So if you don't know HTML please check out my previous video it has information on HTML. So what is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. So why is it a style sheet? It's because it uh, contains the styles for the website styles or appearance you know styles are appearance of how a website will look so why is it cascading is because um, if you add styles to one object all the children or the objects inside it will carry those properties with them as well they will inherit the styles as well so that saves time this is why we use CSS to save time so showing is better than talking so let's get down to business Let's create our own website using a notepad. Let me type div. That's an opening div tag and an, a closing a div tag. Oh, what's that? There we go. So if divs, uh, if uh, tags don't mean anything to you, check out the HTML video and it will make sense. So div is one of the tags in HTML. Uh, so let's save this. So let's save this website as um, let's go on the desktop. Uh, create a folder called web web like that save our file as home.html very important let's make sure we save it as all files and save so what have we done let's go to our desktop and see the folder called web open it and there's our website let's double click and voila but nothing to show because there's nothing in this container so let's type uh, some text there container and there we go so um, container is contained in this div container but we can't see the div so in order for us to see it let's add some styles so let's add one called background color okay let's add a green as the color so let's refresh and we see the container has green all right but the 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 text now is black so let's add another one called color let's change it to white now if you notice I'm, I, I'm adding a semicolon between these uh, these properties here there's background color green uh, color white and there's a semicolon in between so the browser knows that this is the end of one of these and this is the beginning of another so that's why we use that semicolon so let's check out the result and there we are white text very nice but now let's say we need more divs on our site so let's add more divs div by the way stands for division It's short for division so in case you're wondering so let me refresh this and there we go we have three containers so let's say two container three just for for clarity's sake now what I want to do is add a bit of margin between the two between those divs so type margin full colon four pixels semicolon like that and refresh and you see now there's a margin of four pixels around uh, this div that's on top but this has not affected the other two divs because the styles are written specific to each div so this presents a bit of a problem because right here I'll have to copy and paste this margin for me to see the result there we go here it's fine but imagine if you had 100 of these divs you'd have to copy and paste this margin everywhere and this can be a pain to do and if your boss comes and says okay I don't like this green you know I like purple instead then you're in trouble because now you have to go and change everywhere it says green you change it to purple and then the next morning he has a different mood and, uh, mood and says something else then you're in trouble again so to avoid this pain this is where style sheets come in CSS to save the day so oh style my typing is really bad okay there we go so always the styles should come first before the elements you add the style so we have an opening style tag and a closing style tag so anything in between here will be styles for this page so we don't need these styles anymore thank you very much let's delete these and I'm going to cut these ones here all right so now how do we tell the browser that we are talking about a div or divs in this case we type a div 
open close bracket make sure it's this type of uh, bracket you're talking about curly bracket so let me paste these uh, items in here so uh, if oh before I paste that let me undo this and let's check it out and we see nothing is going on because we've deleted all the styles and there's nothing so now when we paste this and refresh all the divs are conforming to this ID right there why because it says div here and here it says div on these elements so the browser will look at div and say okay every element on this page that says div I'll add these styles right there it's very convenient now we are controlling multiple divs with just one statement so I can add one more div if I feel like uh, let me add div number four container number four and you will see automatically it appears just like the others because it's also a div so that's how you control many of these at once so some people like to show it like this instead oh my bad like that so it's more readable it's the same thing because the white space in between doesn't matter if I refresh this it will still have the same effect even if I add lines there in between this white space is irrelevant it won't matter so now what I want to add more is padding there's a thing called padding for pixels like that let me put it there so what padding means is uh, the space between text and the edge of the container so just watch as I refresh you see there's more space between the text and the container so now you see I've controlled four divs at once with one statement like that this is what makes style sheets very powerful so any div that I add from now on will have those properties but what if I want to change div number three to let's say a red background so what would I do I'd have to identify div number three for example it's this one and give it a unique ID so the browser will know as well which one I'm talking about so let's let me name it three like that ID of three so nothing has changed we're still there we're still there so now how do I add a style for a thing I've described with an ID I use pound or hash like that open close bracket so as soon as the browser sees the, the hash or the pound it knows this is an ID of an object so every object with this ID will conform to the rules in here so let's change the background color I think I can just copy this and paste to avoid typing let's add red okay so let's refresh and you see container 3 is now red with uh, the background color because it's it's being described uh, let's do this so we can see it better like that so three describes that so that's one way of doing it so every div that I copy if I copy this uh, ID equals three I copy it to div one for example like that then div one will also conform to those rules as you can see now okay so I can add as many of these as I want and name them whatever it is that I want I can name them I can name this one book you know and give it a uh, color purple like that so like this nothing will happen because not none of these items are associated with this book so unless I go and give it an ID of book for example for number one and refresh and there we go container one is conforming to the rules of this one of this style called book now there's a third way of doing this using what we call a class I can say dot good you know I can use any word there so whatever items I add in between here let's say background color let's copy and say pink for example pink and refresh nothing because we haven't associated this good so how do we associate a uh, a class okay a class we just go and type class equals let's change this to class equals good okay so refresh and we have pink there okay so let's recap a little bit uh, styles should always be on top by the way if I haven't mentioned that already uh, on top of the page on top as long as they're on top of the elements themselves it's fine so here when we use div we just type without anything at the beginning we just type the name it will know that this is a tag we are talking about so it will look for a tag called div and find it and use the styles there and then it will search here to look for something with an ID of three okay which we have here here it will look for something with class equals good which is class equals good and use 
these guys here. And one thing to note is that uh, styles, you can write similar styles several times, it won't matter. For example, I've written background green, background uh, color green, it won't make a difference, you know. But it ignores the first one, it only uses the last one. So if I happen to change this one and say black, then it becomes the green changes to black like that because it only follows the last one it encounters always wins all right something to remember okay so uh what are we remaining with so styles styles and we are done this is how we do it so let me just show you another example here before we close up let's say i have a heading here h1 and uh let me close this closing h1 so let me type some text in there which says heading, right? Refresh and there is the heading. So I can have heading two as well and just say heading two, but it's O and H1 tag. Refresh and there heading two. So if I want to control all H1 tags, all I have to do now is just type H1, open close bracket and just say color. I want blue in this case. So all H1 tags will have a blue color just like you see there. But however, if I want to change this to another class, like let me, I want it to, to have a class of good, for example, this good class. So I'll just say class equals good, okay? Then it will have a background color now of pink. If however, I change it to ID equals three, I just add that there, then it will get all the properties from three, which background color is red like that so it's that simple this is uh, what we use to describe the appearance of all this right here now the the background color like uh, for example on this website was done using the body tag so uh, as you remember in previous tutorial i talked about the body we can add it here just as uh, simple as that body like that that's the opening body tag and the closing body tag at the end let me put a slash like that to denote its closing so just by doing that it means nothing but if i add a style here for body like so then i say background color i say um purple for some reason i like purple if i refresh now you see the whole background has changed to purple as we can see. But there's times when you don't know the color that you're looking for, you want to experiment. So in this case, what we do, instead of naming a color, we use the RGB values like that. RGB open close bracket like that. So you use the red, green, and blue to describe your color. So the maximum number is 255, the minimum is zero, zero, and so on. So what this will mean is that R, which is red, is 255 or maximum g is zero which is minimum blue is zero so no blue no green just a lot of red so let's see what that does and you see that the color is red so you can play around with these just add random numbers to see what pops up you know uh, let's see what that does there we go let's reduce the this to a hundred for example and see what that does and there we go so you can experiment and so on and so forth so thank you for watching. I hope you've uh, learned something here on how to style these things. And until next time, thank you for watching. And subscribe for more videos.